Let's graph this quadratic equation. And remember the graph of a quadratic equation such as this one is a parabola. So let's begin by finding the vertex. Now you may be able to go ahead and notice the vertex just looking at this form of the parabola. But if you can't, how do you find the vertex? You let x equal negative b over 2a, and that's your formula. I'll let you plug that in. b is what? b is 0, that's the coefficient of x, and a is negative 5. If you do so, though, you'll have an x value of 0, and once you plug in that x value of 0, you get a y value of 0. So as a matter of fact, that's the vertex. Because this parabola goes through 0, 0, you already know then your x, or at least one x-intercept and one y-intercept. As a matter of fact, let's plot a few more points then, because if I let x be 0, I will have a y value of 0, and if I let y be 0, I will have an x value of 0. So thus far for our parabola, we've got this one point. Finally, though, when in doubt, when you need more information for graphing, simply plot more points. For example, I'll let x be 1, and I'll let it be negative 1. If x is 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Same thing, if x is negative 1, negative 1 quantity squared is 1, 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Five. So let's plot these points then. 1, negative 5, negative 1, negative 5. We also know, by the way, the coefficient of x squared, which we call a, is negative, so this parabola does open downward. And here is a sketch of it. 